Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to perform all six transformations. So two logs, two reciprocal and two sets of quadratic transformations. So I'm going to go through pretty much this entire sheet and how to input it into your calculator. Now in SACS and exam questions, they often tell you exactly which one they want you to do. So um, it's just a matter of being able to, to use the right one, I suppose. So without further ado, let's go to our data here. So I've got some data, same as the video that I just did before. It's age versus height, okay? So age of a person versus their average height, okay? Um, all right, so now we have two lots of transformations, two, lot, as I said before, two lots of each one. Now, which one you use depends on what your curve actually looks like. So remember that we perform transformations when the data isn't linear. For example, if the data looks like a rainbow, like this, you would use this top area or this top part to perform transformation. So if it looks like a rainbow, it's one of these three. Now, on the other hand, if your curve, so your non-linear graph, looks like a J, you'd be using the bottom three here, one of them, okay? Um, usually you'd be told which one, but if they don't, just look at what curve you've got. So do you have a rainbow or do you have a J, okay? So let's look back at this data here and let's just have a look at whether we have a J or whether we have um, a rainbow. Now, this is clearly a rainbow and Normally what you would do is that you would only perform the rainbow transformations or the, the three that we've got here. But just to show you how to transform every um, using all of them, I'm just going to use the same set of data to perform all these transformations. Okay? So let's begin. I'm going to start off firstly with our y versus log x transformation, which is just this top one here. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So what does y versus log x mean? If you're asked to do this, it means that you keep y, so the height, as it is, but every number in the x, you are going to log it on the base 10. What does this mean? It means you just basically go to your spreadsheet and you're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this um, log, whoop, log of x, okay? And what I'm going to do so I would name it, and then underneath the name, I'd put the equal sign because I want the calculator to perform an operation for me for the entire set of data that we have here. So if I want, to, if I want log 10x, I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to go put control and put log in, as you can see here. I'm going to give it base 10 and then my x, okay? My x is my x age, so I'm going to type in x age. Once it goes bold, it means you've actually let the calculator know that you want this column to be this data, every one of the numbers here, but you want it to be logged as well. And all you do now is press enter, and all the numbers come up. So this is your first type of transformation, the log 10x transformation. You keep y as it is, and you change the x to log x instead, okay? Now let's show you the next type of transformation, um, the reciprocal x transformation. So I'm going to call it 1 on x because it's 1 over x. And in here I'm going to type exactly what I want, which is 1 over x. So I'm going to go equals 1 divided by, and my x is my x age. So I'm going to just type in x age. And as you can see here, it goes bold as soon as you type in that whole word because it registers that you want this column to be under one. Enter and as you can see here every number that's in x age is actually put under one. All these numbers are those numbers just with one on the top and this, da this data is transformed. So you keep the y and you've changed the x to one over x. Are we cool? Alright, so the third transformation is the y squared transformation. So this time, I'm going to call it y squared, so y s cubed for y squared. And what I'm going to do is tell the calculator that 
all the numbers I want, not all the numbers in Y, I'm going to square it. So instead of putting the letter Y, I'm going to put in Y height, because that is my Y. Y height, and as soon as I type that in, it goes bold, and all I do is I square it. Okay, Y squared. And I press enter, and what it's basically done is that every single number that's here has been squared. This number is actually 128 squared. This number is 133 squared because I've squared every value in my Y column because I told the calculator to do so. So this is the first three transformations that you would do if you get a curve that looks like a rainbow. Now if you get a curve that looks like J, we do this second lot of transformations. Okay, it's a little bit different um, in the sense that you change a different variable compared to the rainbow ones. Anyway, so let's do the first one of those. It's log 10y versus x. So what does it mean? Is that we keep x and we change the y to log 10 of y. So I'm going to call it log y. Okay, y being my height. And in here, equals, I'm going to tell it to log to the base 10. Oop everything that's in my y because I'm logging y and I'm keeping x in this case. So I would just type in y height, okay, goes bold again, enter, basically every number in here has been logged. This is our fourth transformation for the j-curves, if it was a j-curve, okay. Next transformation is 1 over y, so I'm just going to call this 1 on y, so that I know, and then down here I put equal and it's just 1 divided by y, not just y, y height, because that's what I called my y column. Enter, so every number, as you can see, every number in the y column is put under 1 in this column, because I've transformed the data. Okay, last but not least, our third transformation, or our sixth one, third in the J curve, is y versus x squared. So I'm going to call it x, sq for x squared, and in here, I'm going to square all the numbers, oops, sorry, all the numbers in the x column. So basically, I just type in x age, because that's my x column, okay, it goes bold, and you just square it, enter. So that's my sixth transformation. So now... My page looks really messy because there's so many transformations going on, but really, you would only really be asked to do one at a time. I'm just showing you all six. So what is the point of all this? Well, we're not just transforming the data, but what we want to do is we want to make the data more linear. So let's go back to this graph here. This is our original data, y versus x. Now, when we transform the data, we will have to change one of the variables and use the transform data to plot it. So let's go back to the top one here. Now y versus log 10x means that I keep y, y is normal, but the x we transform it to log 10x. And it, so here, instead of typing, instead of just clicking x for age, I go, I choose the log 10 of x, which is this first one here. There we go. And as you can see, it has attempted to make the data more linear by a little bit, okay? And when we fit a regression line on it, so analyze regression, show linear mx plus b, that is my regression line. So if I was to put the equation in for this one, it would be age, sorry, it would be height, because x means height, equals 131.656, times and it's log 10 of x because the x is now a transformed x it's not look it's no longer just x on its own so it'll be log 10 and my x represents age plus 6.93405 okay so this equation here is my transformed equation which is what I'm going to use to predict, to interpolate and extrapolate using this equation. We don't use 
the one from the original data because there's no point doing that as the data is not linear. When we've improved linearity, we use the improved transform data's um, equation to make a prediction. Okay, so that's the first one. Now, if we do an, the second transformation as we did here before, the y versus 1 on x, it means that the y stays the same. And the thing that we change is the x. We do 1 on x. So I'm going to click this one, the x variable, and I'm going to find 1 on x. And this data has been transformed. And the equation is given right here. So when I rewrite the equation for this transformation, I actually write height equals, remember y equals m, and in this case m is negative 735.849 times x, and is it x? No, it's not just x, it's 1 on x, so it's 1 divided by, and my x is age, plus 211.594, okay? This is the equation for this transformation. And we use the transform equation to make the prediction because we established the fact that the original equation for y versus x is no good. Okay, let's do, let's do the equation for y squared versus x. So what does this mean? It means the y, we pick the y squared and our x stays the same. So this x, let's bring it back to our normal x, which is our x age. And then instead of having y, we're going to have y squared. So we're going to click on this and we're going to choose um, y squared. That's this one here. And the data is once again linear. We've got the equation that automatically pops up. And we will rewrite this equation in context. So remember, it's y equals mx plus c, but the y has been transformed. So it's y squared. Y is our age, so we're going to go age squared, so age to the power of 2 is equal to uh, 1,267.02 times x, which in this case is, oh crap, age, my bad, sorry, it's not age squared, it's height squared, because height is our y variable, sorry guys, so height squared equals 1267.02 times age plus 6909.05. This is our transformed equation. Okay, so don't forget the y has been squared, so you put y squared right here. Okay? All right, three more to go. Now, let's assume that you've been asked to do the log 10y transformation. So, what this means is that the x stays as an x and the, and the y becomes log y. So click on that and find your log y. Okay, that's our transform data. So because the y has become log y, when we do y equals mx plus c, you do log 10y. Which you, and y is height. So log 10 height equals m 0.5. 0.012329 times x, which is our age, plus 2.02. .02. That's our equation there. Hope you're getting the hang of this. This third one, the x stays the same. The y we transform to the reciprocal 1 on y. So x stays the same, and here we're going to change it to 1 on y. This is another transformation, and the equation that we get here is not just y, it's 1 on y equals m is a negative 0 0.000191 times x, which is our age, plus 0 0.009114. That is our equation right there. And lucky last, y versus x squared, it means that we keep y as normal. So normal y is our y height. And our x is x squared, so we're going to change our normal x to x squared, which I've named as x squared. Okay, and we write the equation y equals mx plus e. y is normal y equals m, which is 0 0.14948 times x squared, 
because the x is transformed. x is h, h squared is h to the power of 2, um, plus 125.924. So there you have it. We've done the transformations in our spreadsheet, and we've also um, transformed the data on our purple icon, <laughs> the graphs page, and every time we graph it, we get the equation, and for each one, we've generated the equation. So as I said before, you'll never be asked to do six, okay? Um, you'd only really be asked to do one, or maybe to do two and compare the two. And once you've generated the transform data, you just have to plot it against um, each other, so using the equation that's been given to you. And the equation, you just substitute, uh, you, you use the transformed equation to make your predictions. And you just use your solve function in your calculator to make your predictions. I hope this helps. Um, let me know if you are still stuck. Or you can just watch this video again. Bye, guys.